What's good Quizzy fan? Welcome back to my channel and as y'all can probably tell from the title of this video I'm going to be telling you guys 10 things all girls need to know about guys So, yes I'm aware I am not a guy but this is for the girls to know And guys what y'all can do is either confirm or add some other extra things that you guys think that I might have missed because this is based on my observation and my experience so it's not like fact and like 100% and let's go with majority rather than um, the whole male species but it could be but you never know but yeah without taking too much of your time let's get into this So the first thing that we need to know is that guys are emotional beings as well. Yes. Like, yes, they've got this whole bravado thing and they don't cry in public or they hide their tears and all of that. Put the, and the whole theory of boys don't cry, that's a lie, guys. They're humans too. They do feel sad. They do get angry. They do get overwhelmed. They do get overworked. And... Yeah, they just don't show it much, but just know that they've got emotions too, and they are emotional beings as well. Number cool. two, number two is that guys get <laughs> guys get intimidated by us. Yeah, guys are intimidated by us, but not in a negative, not well, not in a like. I don't know where this is negative, but. Not in a major way, but like in terms of like the way we ask, ha, the way we ask our questions, um, intimidate them. Like for example, what do you think of this outfit? Or like I don't know, I can't think of an example all of a sudden, but it's those questions that they feel like it's a trap. The way they answer might lead to what type of reaction, whatever type of reaction. So they feel like most of the questions that we ask them about ourselves like are usually like trap questions it's like if i answer this way then this might happen if i answer this way this might happen so what they mostly tend to do with those type of questions i'll insert one if i think of it before i post this but um if they can't they feel like it's a trap they most likely are going to try and avoid the question instead of answering it number three guys don't do guessing games like they don't. They do not take hints. They do not uh, pick up on those little cues that you're trying to throw at them. If you want something, you'd rather just tell them. If you're feeling some type of way, rather just inform them. Then they can then address the issue that's at hand or whatever it is that you want. And they can get it for you if it's something that you want. Instead of like throwing hints, and they don't do that. It, I think there's like one one person I know that that was able to take it but really but anyways just don't, they don't do guessing games rather avoid having to use guessing games or what the fourth thing is that guys have a low emotional intelligence um, I'm not meaning this in any negative way but what I mean by emotional intelligence is in that um, with us girls like like this sad bad angry happy uh, what's other emotion I don't know but with so those are the general you are happy or you're sad or you're angry or you are what Meh. but these are like the general emotions like and then you get us girls that we have the in-between and the mixture of this and that and the, I don't know we seem to have new new found emotions every other day and with guys it's not as like broad they are like either they're happy or they're sad and it's like more direct and and also sometimes they struggle with knowing how they feel because um, they're not that in tune with the emotions as females are this also goes with the whole biology biology um, background of it all but um, we're not gonna get into that just the point is that um, the emotional intelligence isn't as good as that of God. number five all guys are problem solvers so, 
if you give them a problem, they want to offer you a solution. Not if you don't want their help, it's fine, but they'll still offer suggestions on what you can do to help solve your problem. So when a girl has a problem and you're forever complaining about this and, they have, and then you find that they just be like, instead of like offering that shoulder to cry on the way girlfriends do, who try and support you in your cry or whatever the case may be, they'd rather be like, have you tried doing this or have you tried doing this? They're going to go directly into jumping into solutions so they can get rid of the problem and then you can go back to being your happy self instead of you whining and crying over whatever the problem is that got you upset. So they are generally problem solvers so do not get offended if they don't give you the emotional support that you need when you are venting but and they rather be giving you solutions when you are not really looking for solutions. Number six is all boys love their privacy. Like, well not privacy per se but they like their own time like give them space like yes there's you and them time especially when you're in a relationship that they love having their own space just being themselves or being with their guy friends and yeah they love their space so do not get offended if they be like um i'd like to take some time out and also just like instead of them having to ask for it also be um what is the uh, huh what is that word? Okay, I forgot the word, but anyways, so try and offer it also, like, don't be in the space, like, if you feel, if you, you can kind of sense, like, when they need their time to, like, just be on their own, so just, like, give it, give it to them, like, give it to them, and sometimes just for them to be on themselves and do what it is that they do best on their own, and, yeah, which leads me to number seven, so point number seven is, um, they, they, Point number seven is that there is commonality, 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 I can't say that word properly, but there is um, commonality within the people that they associate themselves with. So what do I mean by this? Like the friends that they hang out with, the people that they um, was this, um, define as their close friends. Those type of people know that there's like something common about them. So if you find that one of them is like dodgy, just be wary of the rest of the crew because um, usually they have like some common ground and understanding. However, though, there has been like uh, cases whereby um, there's just like variety in friendships because, yeah, just because. But anyway, know that there's commonality in. Um, in uh, the people that they associate themselves with. Number eight, boys are self-conscious. Like in the same way that girls are like self-conscious about the way they appear and the way they dress or the way they look, about their weight, guys get that too. Like it's not as deep, but they also get self-conscious. Like you, you also see guys also look in the mirror and make sure that they're looking good and they look. And when you do offer a compliment, then they also like okay. I actually killed it today and when you are like nah then um, they also feel some type of way they just don't express it as much but be aware that um, boys are also self-conscious and about the way they appear and the opinions of other people affect them as well okay so um, Elora decided to join us but anyways we were by number nine I think um, so number nine uh, the the way the mind of guys work is completely different to that of females. Um, there's a theory that some people call it the um, spaghetti versus waffles. Or um, for those who know the ad from like a few years back, it's all dated now, but it was the first for women insurance one, um, whereby um, they were talking about the boxes and then you, um, that was the brain of the guys and then the one for the female was like bubbles with so many connections, right? So uh, basically that's how other brains are basic. So with guys, everything is in categories. So that this goes into this box, this goes into this box. But with waffle it has like blocks, everything has its own category. And then with girls, everything is connected to everything. Like he would say. Everything is connected to everything. And we can like start a conversation, we are talking about A, B, C, and D, and suddenly we are by Z, X, Y, Z, uh, I don't know, <laughs> X, Y, Z. Like we jump from one topic to the other, just like that. Whereas with guys, um, when you do that jump, that sudden jump from one box to another box, 
them. It takes them a while to like figure out, okay, we are talking about this. So, do not be, take, be taken aback if they struggle to follow your storyline. Like, rather remind them, okay, so we are moving to this topic and this. Don't just be jumping like, from one topic to another topic to another topic because you're going to confuse them and they might even stop listening and just be like, what? So if you want to keep their attention when you're talking to them, yes, like this one, then um, rather we have a pause before you start another topic or let them know that you're moving on instead of like just jumping because that usually tends to confuse them and might take a while for them. A second or two for them to assist to re, re like recalculate like okay we are in this box now we're talking about zebras and not food anymore. Number 10, you cannot change a man. Like girls, if you are in the 21st century, in the year 2021, you all need to get this in your heads that you cannot change a man. Doesn't matter how much you try, like you cannot change them. They change when they want to. So Forget that. Not get, especially if you're gonna get into a relationship, think you're gonna change something about them. Nah, don't. You are not the one. Especially if you force it. Like, you think that okay, what happened? Especially if you force it, like say that I'm, I'm gonna change him, and they are so stubborn, so they they're gonna fight you on that. So rather let them. If there's going to be any change happening, it's gonna have to be from them, their decision, their own time. And if you're worth it, they're gonna change for you. So don't go into no relationship thinking you can change your mind. That's what I'm saying. Cool. So we can um, a bonus one for you girls. Um, the way you view yourself. So this is number eleven. The way you view yourself affects, like, it has a direct impact on how they're going to view you. So if you respect yourself and you hold yourself highly and do not compromise on your morals and values uh, they will also put you at that standard if you are cheapening yourself be it that you're just doing that so that they can like you more by doing that you also like they're also going to take you from that level that you put yourself at and treat you as such so rather treat yourself highly so that you get treated properly instead of cheapening yourself and then being treated like trash so Remember that the way you treat out, uh, the way you view yourself or portray yourself to others has a direct impact on how they're going to treat you, especially guys. So yeah. Anyways, that's the end of that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This one is playing with sand now, so I'm gonna go and clean this one up. Uh, but otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share, and turn on your post notifications so you get notified each time I post a new video. Until next time guys, bye!